How the hell fault this is coming from this government? You're watching this Revolution TV. Stay fucking tuned. I would say it was really good. The reviews were really good. Uh, labels say the, the sales figure were good. Uh, but as an artist, I would say the, the most important feedback uh, was when we did a long tour and people were singing along and enjoying the new songs. And that's like the thank you moment. Because that, that, that's the most important feedback. Because if they would just stand there like, yeah, 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 play the old stuff, then it would be like, uh, but when they really have like, yeah! Singing with all the new songs, and it's that's the best thing. Thank you. Uh, well, even though I well, we write songs together, uh, you know, we have uh, the way we work is somebody brings raw ideas to the rehearsal room, and then we twist and turn and uh, make everything work together and when we're everybody can stand behind every note and okay this song is ready then we record it uh, so it's it's quite hard to pinpoint where the music came from because it's a sum of so many things but uh, lyric wise because I'm for some reason the, the main lyric writer in the band because if, I always say the others say come on bring your ideas but uh, they're so crazy that they trust me to write the lyrics. <laughs> but, uh, well, NC Phenom has really strong heroic theme. And, uh, but of course, uh, as a lyric writer for me, it's really important that all the lyrics have a deeper meaning. And uh, all the lyrics uh, are inspired by the real world, real life events. Not necessarily something happened to me, but something happened to close, somebody close to me, or maybe even events happening in in the world generally and the, the funny challenge is always to find the metaphors that it fits this NC Venom's heroic theme. Sorry to keep repeating myself but uh, yeah that's where the lyrics come from real life. Uh, music uh, is uh, well the cornerstones of our music are the power of death metal and uh, the the melodic and the soundscape wise thing of folk music uh, in, in Nordic countries and also Irish. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, Hellfest is fucking fantastic festival. Uh, this is the third time here. And I remember uh, both the previous times uh, I, I went there, you know, walking and uh, enjoying the atmosphere and uh, it was like wow like it's so massive uh, yeah this time this weekend we only had a show on Sunday here in Helfest so I was like for fuck's sake I have the opportunity of lifetime to go there for a whole weekend so I came here on Thursday camp in the fucking tent like <laughs> like last time I did that was literally okay I'm, I'm okay I'm really fucking old but that was 20 years ago when last time I did that because uh, there's no really chance when you're a touring musician because we have festivals every weekend there's no chance so this was really like once in a lifetime opportunity to do it and I fucking love it and uh, well like I said the atmosphere here fantastic always in metal festivals and uh, the cool thing was to see it from the perspective of, of a festival guest how the infrastructure works and really to enjoy all the decoration and good food and you go and see bands without any hurry it's fucking fantastic and uh, yeah French audience is always insane I think it has something to do with the culture of uh, you know you guys being a kind of football country because you it's, it's in your blood to sing along things you know it's it's there and it's, it's really loud always here which we love yeah it's always a pleasure to come here Salté. Like a major impact on the Dubat's album, and uh, she was there to, like I said, we, we compose things together, and uh, it was really it, well. She's a fucking fantastic musician, uh, but uh, no big drama here. Uh, it's just working as a full-time musician, 
touring musician that tour around the world, not not in your home home country. It's not it, you know, playing shows and composing stuff, recording stuff. That's that's the the crown jewel of it. That that's the beauty of it. that's that's the the price that you get. That's the the most beautiful thing, the best thing you get. But it also includes a lot of traveling, a lot of time away from stuff that you could do. So it's. Uh, it happened before also with the ex-members. You know, don't get me wrong, we're good friends with all the ex-members. Actually, the ex-bass player is one of my best friends. Anyway, the most precious thing that we have is our time and how and for whom we give it to. And if you're away from things that you would like to do, the other thing has to compensate and it has to be worth it. And that needs to match. And in a band, it's a marriage of, in our case, it was for five people. Everybody needs to believe in that. Everybody needs to feel the same. Everybody needs to be uh, to put 100% to it. Because that's the thing. But uh, Netta is a fucking fantastic musician. She's so talented. She's doing her solo thing. I wish her all the best. And I'm sure we will hear a lot from her. But yeah, at the, at the moment, we're actually, we had like long gap. We're, we're like okay because it works with just four of us because we've been together like 13 14 years the four guys then we start to pondering uh, the next album and you know we can uh, we can make an NC for an album that's not a problem uh, of course we are ambitious about music and we want to go forward not to repeat ourselves and then we start talking about maybe we should get the fifth member but somebody who will actually bring something new to the table, something that we cannot make ourselves. You know, we can compose, we can arrange keyboards, we can arrange orchestration, but uh, uh, we're, it's in the Facebook now, we're looking for uh, somebody who actually is a good singer, uh, but also can play keyboards. But I would say the main thing is the singing thing. I would say that that's uh, maybe the thing that we've been lacking, like somebody who actually has a really good lead singing. Well, let's see how it goes, but we're not in a, in a rush or in a panic anyway. The band is really functional. And, no, are you fucking kidding me? I'm, I'm sorry. For, uh, uh. <laughs> see, see, see what I mean? I told you, 15 minutes is not enough. Heroic folk metal. Yeah. Can I have four? It would be heroic, ironic folk metal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in case you haven't heard, check out Two Pats. Uh, well, summer is still young, so enjoy it. Go to festivals, enjoy live music, love each other, enjoy good wine, and... Uh, Sessa, stay metal.